Come on, baby. You could do it. We got some rookies learning how to parallel park. And Got to get closer to the curb. All right. All right, guys. So welcome to the channel. Uh, if you haven't uh, hit that subscribe button, definitely go ahead and do it. This is my uh, 06 Monte Carlo with the LS4 engine in there. Not exactly the fastest thing in the world, but it's my daily driver and I absolutely love it. Uh, now, this is my charger and today what we're going to talk about is this hood. And ever since I put it on the charger, it has not stopped raining. Almost every day it's rained. And uh, with these vents, you could potentially run into an issue because they do let in uh, water when it rains. So uh, for those of you that are looking into the Killer Bee hood, um, uh, the Hellcat hood, or the viper hood if you don't take care of these vents water is in fact going to get through and today what i'm going to do is talk to you guys about some options that are out there if you have an aftermarket hood Guys, so before I jump into the main topic of uh, protecting your air filter from uh, some of these aftermarket hoods, I kind of want to hit on a couple of smaller topics. Number one is this Sunday, there is a uh, Chevy versus Mopar meet at 1230 Seaford train station, Long Island, New York. Definitely come hang out. A great group of people usually uh, end up showing up and uh, some really nice builds out there. Uh, so regardless of what you drive, come hang out and uh, it's always a good time. Number two is uh, there's some YouTube drama going around. Uh, every few months, there's there's uh, someone that kind of stirs the pot, if you will. I think that's the problem, Doc. There's, ro there's ropes in the way. The ropes are in the way. He can't maneuver now. Nice footwork, too. Oh, oh there it is. Oh, he's down. Uh, but the reason why I'm bringing this up is because Kevin Van Boris actually has a really cool idea. I know that he brought this up uh, a few months back and uh, I still think that it's an awesome idea and that is to get some kind of like a uh, big event that has uh, a lot of the Mopar YouTubers and um, regardless of whether you know there's drama between a couple of channels or not let everybody just kind of line up against each other uh, I personally think it would be a lot of fun I know a lot of people would be interested uh, to see how some of the builds uh, kind of stack up against one another and uh, yeah you know a, a drag strip you know prepped surface uh, you know it would be interesting to see you know just kind of if everybody gets traction how do they actually do uh, so that's really what I have to say about both of those topics. Uh, now, let's get in uh, to protecting the air filter uh, from some of these, you know, aftermarket hoods that include the hood that I have, which is the Killer B. Uh, you have the Viper uh, styled hood, and you have a Hellcat hood. Uh, now, the first option that I want to go over is one that I currently have, and I did it as a kind of a temporary you know situation or a temporary fix uh but i kind of like the way that it came out and i most likely will end up just keeping it uh and that is putting vinyl wrap around the uh the two uh heat extractors next to the air filter and this has prevented any water from actually going in uh into the air filter uh, ever since i put this hood on uh, it has not stopped raining, and uh, I haven't run into any issues thus far doing it in that way. Now, the second second option is one that's the most popular. Uh, my buddy CT Hellcat has it uh, because he has a Viper hood on his, uh, his Hellcat, and um, that is putting a waterproof sleeve over the air filter. And... Uh, you know, I've, I've read up on this, I've, I've done a lot of research, and it appears as though this method uh, is probably the most effective way, easiest way for you to, to kind of correct this situation. It's as simple as, you know, slipping it on, and on race day, you know, taking it off. It's good to go. Um, so that is an avenue that I was really going for, 
but I could not find a, a sleeve that would fit the air filter that I had. I have the Jammer Air Intake by Diablo Sport and the filter is massive. So I really wasn't able to find anything in that sizing. Uh, so I contacted a, a, a company for a custom size air filter protector uh, or air sleeve and uh, it was around 50 bucks. So I may end up just getting it anyway, just, just to have it. Um, so that's the second avenue that you could go down. And the last and final one is, is something that's very popular uh, with Hellcat hoods. And that is there's a plastic piece uh, that kind of re relocates where the water goes um, next to the Hellcat uh, heat extractor. And, um, you know, I'm not 100% sure if that would uh, work on the, the hood that I have, um, but I'm sure it would. Uh, but th that was the least serious one that I, uh, I was, the avenue that I was taking of the three. Now I'm sure there's a couple other options out there, but those were the three ones that I was uh, researching and or, and or, you know, just did all together. Um, so, you know, I, I kind of hope this kind of drums up some ideas. I hope this is helpful. Um, this was the only issue that I had really with the, the hood, uh, that and the windshield wiper relocation. Uh, I still have to get the relocator kit. I will at some point, uh, so that I can actually spray my windshield and wipe them. Um, now if you are interested in, um, you know, a YouTube kind of, you know, drag, drag strip day. Um, this is something that I, I really would like to do. I would really like to go out there. Obviously I am not going to be beating many of these, uh, guys out there, but I would be going just for the fun of it. You know, shake, shake some, some of these YouTubers hands, hang out a little bit, you know, see their, their, their builds in person. Um, I've met quite a few other YouTubers, really cool guys. Uh, many of them are, are down to earth, you know, but, um, I am interested in that. I think it's a great idea. I also think that it's, um, more enjoyable to see two, two really high horsepower cars at a drag strip where the preparation on the, on the, sh the, uh, the actual road is, is meant for that kind of power. Uh, and there's just not really too much up for debate. It's, it's, you know, you, you go on green and the first to the finish line wins. Uh, and you know, if we do a private event, you're, you know, you would be able to continue running. Maybe you do a best out of three or something. I don't know. Um, but either way, I think it, it would be a lot of, it would be entertaining for me because I know a lot of the builds, uh, that are happening, get demonology out there. Maybe, uh, you know, see, see how he does against some of these, you know, thousand plus wheel horsepower, uh, Hellcats and, uh, you know, watch demonology put on a session about launching and, you know, that dude can, uh, he can light it up, you know, off the, off the tree. So either way, guys, uh, I, th I, I want to thank you for, uh, you know, tuning in, watching the video. If you're at this point, you know, you're one of the real ones. You're, uh, you know, you're part of the, you're part of the crew that is helping this channel continue grow. So, all right, I will, uh, shut my yapper and, uh, let's, uh, let's keep growing this channel. It's almost at 50 K guys.